The sages said, O Sutta, Sutta the fortunate disciple of Vyasa, obeisance to thee. Please explain again the glorification of the holy ashes, of the Rudraksha, and of Shiva's names. Lovingly explaining the three, please delight our minds. Sutta said, It is good that you have referred to this matter that is highly beneficent to the world. You are blessed, holy, and ornaments to your families, since you own Shiva as your sole great favorite deity. The anecdotes of Shiva are dear to you all forever. Those who adore Shiva are blessed and content. Their birth is fruitful and their family is elevated. Sins never touch those from whose mouth the names of Sada Shiva, Shiva, etc. come out forever as they do not touch the burning charcoal of the Kadira wood. The mouth that utters obeisance to thee, holy Shiva, is on a par with holy centers, destroying all sins. It is certain that the benefit of making pilgrimage to holy centers accrues to one who lovingly looks at his holy face. O Brahmanas, the place where these three are found is most auspicious. A mere contact of that place accords the benefit of taking a holy dip in the sacred Triveni. Shiva's name, the ashes, and the Rudraksha beads are very holy and are on a par with Triveni, the confluence of the three holy rivers. The sight of the persons who have these three in their bodies is a rare occurrence but when obtained, it removes all sins. There is no difference at all between these two, a sight of the holy man and a bath in the Triveni. He who does not realize this is undoubtedly a sinner. The man who has no ashes on his forehead, has not worn Rudraksha on his body, and does not utter names of Shiva shall be shunned as one does a base man. As said by Brahma, Shiva's name is on a par with Ganga, the ash is equal to Yamuna, and Rudraksha destroys all sins and is equal to Saraswati. Brahma, wishing to bestow beneficence, weighed one against the other. He put on one side the benefit achieved by a person in whose body the three things were present. On the other side, he put the blessedness achieved by those who took their bath in the holy Triveni. Both were found equal. Hence, scholars shall wear these always. From that time onwards, Brahma, Vishnu, and other devas wear these three. Their very sight dispels sins. The sages said, O righteous one, you have explained the benefit of the three things, Shiva's name, etc. Please explain it more vividly. Sutta said, O Brahminical sages, you are all good devotees of Shiva, gifted with knowledge and great intellect. You are the foremost among the wise. Please listen with reverence to their greatness. O Brahmanas, it is mysteriously hidden in sacred texts, Vedas, and Puranas. Out of love for you, I reveal the same to you now. O foremost among the Brahmanas, who actually knows the greatness of these three except Shiva, who is beyond the whole universe? I shall explain briefly the greatness of the names as prompted by my devotion. O Brahmanas, do you lovingly listen to his greatness, the destroyer of all sins? Mountainous heaps of great sins are destroyed as in a blazing forest fire when the names of Shiva are repeated. They are reduced to ashes without any difficulty. It is true, undoubtedly true. O Sonika, Different sorts of miseries with sins as their roots can be quelled only by muttering Shiva's names and not by anything else whatsoever. 
The man who is devotedly attached to the japa of Shiva's names in the world is really a follower of the Vedas, a meritorious soul, and a blessed scholar. O sage, the different sacred rites of those who have full faith in the efficacy of the japa of Shiva's names are instantaneously fruitful. O sage, men in this world cannot commit so many sins as are and can be destroyed by Shiva's names. O sage, Shiva's names repeated by men immediately destroy the countless heaps of sins, such as the slaughter of a brahmana. Those who cross the ocean of worldly existence by resorting to the raft of the names of Shiva do definitely destroy those sins that are the root cause of worldly existence. O great sage, the destruction of sins that are the roots of worldly existence is certainly affected by the acts of Shiva's names. The nectar of Shiva's names shall be drunk by those who are distressed and scorched by the conflagration of sins. Without it, the people who are scorched by the conflagration cannot have any peace. Those who are drenched by the nectarian downpour of Shiva's names never feel ill at ease, even in the middle of the conflagration of worldly existence. The noble souls who have acquired great devotion to the names of Shiva, and those like them, attain perfect liberation instantaneously. O Lord of sages, devotion to the names of Shiva that destroy all sins can be acquired only by him who has performed penances in the course of many births. Salvation is easy of access only to him who has extraordinary and unbroken devotion for the names of Shiva. I believe in this. Even if he has committed many sins, a person who has reverence for the japa of Shiva's names certainly becomes free from all sins. Just as the trees in a forest are burnt and reduced to ashes by the forest fire, so also are the sins destroyed by Shiva's names. O Sonika, he who regularly sanctifies his body by the holy ashes and who performs the japa of Shiva's names, crosses even the terrible ocean of worldly existence. A person who undertakes japa of Shiva's names is not sullied by sins, even after misappropriating a brahmana's wealth and killing many brahmanas. After going through all the Vedas, it has been decided by our ancestors that the noblest means of crossing the ocean of worldly existence is japa of Shiva's names. O oh, excellent sages, why should I say much? By means of a single verse, I shall mention the greatness and efficacy of the names of Shiva for the destruction of all sins. Papanang harane shambhor nama sankirti pavani shaknoti patakang tavat kartung napi narakvachit the power of the names of Shiva in destroying sins is more than the ability of men to commit them. O sage, formerly the king Indradyumna, who was a great sinner, attained the excellent goal of the good through the influence of Shiva's names. O sage, similarly a Brahmana woman, too, of great sinful activities, attained the excellent goal of the good through the influence of Shiva's names. O oh, excellent Brahmanas, thus I have told you about the surpassing excellent of the names. Now, please listen to the greatness of holy ashes, the most sacred of all. <laughs>